channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Shirley Howard, I'm a fashion reseller on Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, and Facebook Marketplace. So if you're interested in any of those platforms or fashion reselling, hit the subscribe button below to be notified when new videos are released. So today's video looks a little bit different. And I said one of my goals for 2021 was to have more fun with the stuff that I'm buying to sell online. And I was out thrifting and I realized I could buy these wedding dresses for $30 each. $30 each. I could sell them for $60 and still double my investment. So I wanted to do a I Said Yes to the Dress thrift haul video, which will begin with wedding dresses and end with some regular everyday dresses that people can wear. I thought it would be most appropriate just to wear a dress for this whole video because it's not often that you get the opportunity to just hang around in a wedding dress. Now I've been known to dress up the odd time. Uh, I will flash up my own actual wedding picture. <laughs> we were so young. And then our 25th wedding anniversary, we actually recreated our pictures at the same place. Same dress that I wore when I got married. Uh, my husband's just wearing a suit because we did not run a tuxedo for that occasion. So, I'm taking this opportunity to wear this dress for this thrift haul video. So this dress is a beautiful, low-cut, streamlined dress. Beautiful buttons up the back. It's a zip-up back, not a button-up back. It just gives the button look. Bow detailing in the front. Very classic, very streamlined, very classy. You might note there is a spot here of dirt. I'm hoping that uh, dry cleaning will get that out, or I might look at some Martha Stewart-like ideas to see if I can touch it. I'm most likely going to try and sell these dresses without doing anything to them, but will recommend that anybody buying them needs to get them dry cleaned before wear. And even though we're still in COVID, weddings are going on, they're just smaller weddings. So, I'm buying these now to prepare for those spring and summer weddings that are coming up. So for the $30 each, I'm willing to put in that money and I will just hang these downstairs. I will post them online and see what happens. So this is dress number one. Dress number two, again, very, very classic, beautiful dress. Um, wedding dresses are quite heavy if you've never worn one. They're quite heavy and sometimes it's hard to breathe. This is a brand new dress. This is actually a brand new David's Bridal dress. Um, I looked these dresses up online. The style numbers are inside the dresses. They all retailed for well over a thousand dollars. And looking at some of the resale value online, they were somewhere between two and six hundred dollars for resale value. So I'm not looking to make a fortune. I just like to maybe a couple hundred dollars a dress and I think that would be fine. So this is new with tags. It has the same detailing here as the one I have on with the beautiful button detailing coming off there and a classic ivory. Perfect classy wedding dress. Quite lovely. And what do we have next? These are all very much in the same kind of vein of being these are all strapless wedding dresses. I do believe strapless dresses are still in uh, vogue for the wedding season. Uh, these ones have all been worn by a lucky bride. And this one I really, really loved because it has this really fun taffeta. I don't know if you can hear that. But the beading detail at the waist is absolutely stunning. I think this is the most expensive one of the entire bunch here, uh, reaching well up into close to $2,000 for this particular dress, probably because of the beading detail. And none of these dresses are terribly poofy at the bottom, but they do have uh, underskirts that make it flow and flare. 
as the bride walks down the aisle. This bride probably had more fun because I know there is dirt on the bottom of these dresses. <laughs> Some bride had fun. I hope you guys can see these from standing so far away. Another white. This is a white one. Again, the bodice detail and beading is so, so beautiful. Uh, this one actually is still also new. I did not realize this one was new with tags. Uh, the tag says $450 on this dress. It is David's Bridal. Size 4. I don't know who's wearing that. I don't know why wedding dress sizes are uh, made small. So that on your <laughs> happiest day of your life, you're wearing a bigger size than your regular size. Uh, but anyway, this one has beautiful pleating. It has beautiful beading. It does have some skirts underneath. You can hear that. The crinoline under there. And a nice classic, I guess almost kind of mermaid shape to those dress. So beautiful. And another one here with a beautiful detailing. This one has beading. Again, it's the halter style. The beading is down the front. It's from David's Bridal. This one had a particularly beautiful detailing on the back. And it is a lace up back, an actual lace up, not a fake lace up, an actual lace up corseted back. So getting in and out uh, might take a few minutes. One of the other details that I thought was so nice is that the hemline at the bottom, once you're done with the church part and you go to your party, you can button up the bottom so that you're not dragging this long, massive train behind you. And I remember my actual wedding dress did the same thing. It just made a nice, beautiful bottom. So you can see that that buttons down and then you can actually have the train for when you're walking down the church part. But it still makes it so that you can wear this at the reception and still be comfortable. And I know, again, I got married so long ago. Um, one of the things about these wedding dresses is that they're so expensive. And then people get to the reception and they want to take their wedding dress off. I did not. I wore my wedding dress till 3 o'clock in the morning because that's how long we were at our reception. It was a really good time. And with these kind of detailing, hopefully it makes it so somebody can actually wear this dress and get some of the value out of it. Because even if these people get married a second time, they're not wearing the same dress really beautiful. And the last one, I didn't realize I had bought six of them because they all came from different stores. So actually this was a thrift haul that I went to three, three, three thrift stores in one day and I did drive outside of my city and we uh, looked at it. So I talk a lot about the, the store that I go to that's local. This is the same store. It's just outside of the city. So it's about an hour drive from my house and uh, there's three of them there. And Throughout the day, uh, I found the wedding dresses. I actually went off to another store, and then I came back and picked up a wedding dress. And I, was in, I was in the Frenchies, and I was looking at the dresses, and they're just hanging up like this, nothing fancy. And I'm looking at them going, and I'm looking at the train, and I'm picking them up, and I'm like, I wonder if people think that I'm getting married. And they're going, look at that poor lady. She has to get her dress at the Frenchies. <laughs> Or else I just might have thought I was crazy. But again, outside the city, I was not likely to run into somebody that I knew. But when I took them to the cash register at one store, I said, these are not for me. <laughs> the classic, these are not for me. And she said, uh, you'd be surprised at how many people actually get their wedding dresses here. So I'm not alone. And hopefully these will sell. And if so, I will pick up some more of these dresses. So this one here. Again, along the same uh, lines, this one is a jasmine, is the uh, tag inside. It has a lot of ruffling here too, which hides any flaws that you might have in your figure. And it has some beautiful ruffle detailing here. And again, it has that beautiful uh, button detail on the back, but it's actually a zipper. So this was a really, really fun purchase for me. So. Hopefully in 2021, you guys pick up some stuff that's fun for you. Um, selling the same old stuff over and over and over is kind of boring. So I'm trying to jazz it up. In this thrift haul, this is just going to be part one. Part two of the thrift haul will be other things that I picked up, but I just wanted to focus on dresses for today. So those are the wedding side dresses. And yes, I'm going to keep this on for the whole video because it's fun. So what else did I pick up? 
This is actually a short romper by Band of Gypsies, brand new with tags. And this would have cost me $4.95. And you might notice the trend here as I go through these dresses. I'm looking towards spring and summer. So I'm not looking to buy winter dresses. I'm looking to buy things for the next selling season. Here I have a Joseph uh, Ribkoff. I did look this dress up online while I was at the thrift store. And it was quite expensive and it still was online for sale. So I feel really good about this. All these dresses here cost me $6 each. And I only picked up dresses that I thought I would make money on, meaning that I did look up most of them online if I could find information. And I wanted to be a little bit pickier about what I was picking up. So I didn't get as much frivolous stuff, I guess, besides the wedding dresses. I was being a bit more strategic when I got to the actual dress portion. And we have, again, new with tags always attracts me. Uh, Day to Day by, by Blue Pepper. Don't know much about this one. I just thought it was a really nice, beautiful green belted dress. It's not linen, but has a bit of a linen look. So I think it's very lightweight and actually very, very fun for the upcoming season. Shoulders are falling down. I love this one. This is, I don't know if we call this a romantic style. Um, I don't know this brand, but I know I looked this up and it did have a good resale value. Uh, Prontomo, Modo, I don't know, it's a weird name, but it is quite lovely with the lacing and the very light weight fabric, the ruffles at the bottom, and there is a hem underneath, oh no, yes there is, a hem underneath, and very lightweight, very versatile color for the upcoming time frame. And Ann Taylor Loft. I always hesitate about picking up Ann Taylor Loft because it doesn't sell for me. This one was brand new with tags. I really did like it for myself. So it does, if it does not sell, um, it's something that I could wear to my actual office job. And it just has a really nice um, elastic ribbing at the top very lightweight at the bottom, and a black dress with the floral. So it's it's going to be a win for me either way, even if it doesn't sell on Poshmark or eBay or wherever I happen to post that. And next is a brand that I, I like, I gravitate. This is a Tommy Hill figure, very short sleeve, kind of sheet style dress in red, classic Tommy Hill figure, brand new with tags, very plain, very beautiful, very much work oriented. Or you can go to an event, a wedding, or something in this dress. And there's another one that I picked up that I'm looking for the upcoming season. It's Adriana Papel, I believe you say that. It has a slip or camisole slip underneath. It has a uh, overlay. It has ruffles. It has a bow at the waist. Very, very feminine and very lightweight and in a classic black. And I just was really attracted to this because it had such beautiful feminine features. Really lovely. And we have another one. Again, brand new with tags. This one is Nicole Miller. It is, it might be hard to tell, it is a denim, a lightweight denim. And it has this beautiful embroidered swirlies on here. They're not flowers, but just swirls. And the retail is $148 on that. And of course, you're not going to get that on Poshmark or eBay. But a very beautiful dress, lovely for a summer event. Or I guess you could probably wear this to work and maybe throw on a cardigan. Um, but a very, very classic, beautiful v-neck dress. And <laughs> I'm attracted to some dresses. We'll put you over there. Again, I was finding a lot of stuff that was brand new with tags, which I really love to find. Another dress, uh, a Vivi. I don't know what that one was. Um, brand new with tags. Again, lots of beautiful things. It's just a ruffled smock dress. You can see that ruffle and that fun uh, at the bottom. And it is a floral print. And that's what I'm looking for at this time of year for the next season. And this one is actually quite beautiful. Next is a brand that I love to find. I've never found a Spanx dress before. And this is a 
long, shorter in the front, long, so a high-low dress, I guess we would call that. Um, black and white striped dress, racer back, very plain, but the Spanx name for me sells really well. So hopefully this dress is something that people will be looking to buy. Uh, this would be really great if you were going on a south vacation someday when the virus, coronavirus has been vaccinated against and we can travel again. This would be a perfect resort wear. And I got a fancy dress here. Another one by Adriana Papel. This is a gold ruffled skirt v-necked dress. Uh, very much an event dress. This is something that you need to be going somewhere in this dress. I don't know anywhere in my life where I'm going to this anytime soon, but again, another person's wedding. This would be very, very beautiful. And not forgetting about making sure that I add sizes to my closet for everyone. Again, a wedding dress is starting in size 4, and I did pick up a couple of dresses in a plus size. This one here is Bob Mackie. It's a size 2X, and I really liked the color in this as well. This has got reds or maroons, purples, and blacks. And this kind of material, it's not going to wrinkle. It's very easy to wear, and it's very lightweight. And again, I'm really attracted to putting some of those plus sizes in my closet. And last but not least, we have Suzanne Betro. This is in a 1X. For some reason I thought this one was new. Yes, this one is also new with tags. Very light, very, very lightweight, but the coloring is a teal and an orange, which you wouldn't necessarily think would go together, um, but it actually does look really, really, really lovely. Uh, it does have a cutout on the sleeve, so it does have a bit of visual appeal as well. So I think that I've done really, really well with my dress shopping so far. And I think I've found some really nice pieces, some really fun pieces, some really different pieces for me in my closet. I'm going to stop my thrift haul on this particular three thrift stores in one day at the dress section. And I will continue on moving into some of the more men's style. And I did have a little bit of fun with the men's style as well. And I picked up some sporting wear uh, for men. So I'm starting to appeal to that other side. I am making sales on the men's side. So onward and upward for 2021. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please on your way out, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up, a like, drop me a comment, and I'll see you in my next video.